डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे माय क्लास इज सेवेंथ क्लास मैथ्स चैप्टर सेवन कंपेरिंग क्वांटिटीज एक्सेस टू सेवन पॉइंट टू इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गिविंग ऑल प्रॉब्लम्स सॉल्यूशंस हियर बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस क्लास प्लीज सब्सक्राइब किंग क्लासरूम फॉर मैथ्स एंड कंप्यूटर क्लासेस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो नाउ गोइंग टू कमिंग टू द Class seventh class uh, Max chapter seven comparing quantities exercise seven point two all problems. First problem tell what is the profit of profit or loss account in the following transactions. Also find the profit percentage or loss percentage in each case. So solution we are giving A B C D problems. We are giving each solution. Okay. First in this question gardening sharing shares are bought. For two fifty rupees and sold for three twenty five rupees. Since the selling price is greater than the cost price, so there is a profit. So profit is equals to selling price minus cost. That equals to three twenty five minus two fifty. That equals to seventy five rupees. Profit percentage is equals to profit by cost price into hundred. That is equals to seventy five. Uh, by 250 into 100, that equals to 750 by 25, 30 percent is. You can verify this by using the profit calculator. So, second problem. In this question, refrigerator was bought for 12,000 rupees and sold for 13,500. Selling price of the, since the selling price is greater than cost price, so there is a profit. So profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. That is equals to thirteen thousand five hundred minus twelve thousand. That equals to fifteen hundred rupees. Profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into hundred. That is equals to fifteen hundred by twelve thousand into hundred. That is equal to one lakh fifty thousand by twelve thousand. That is equal to twelve percent is twelve point five percent is. In this question, the selling C. In this question, the selling price of the cupboard is three thousand and cost price is two thousand five hundred. The selling price is greater than the cost price. There is so there is a profit. So profit is equals to selling price minus cost price. Three thousand minus two thousand five hundred. So rupees is equal to five hundred rupees profit. Profit percentage is equal to formula profit by cost price into hundred. If it is loss. Loss by loss percentage is loss by cost price into hundred. So we got the profit. So profit by cost price is two thousand five two thousand five hundred into hundred. That is equals to twenty percentage. That we can simplify this uh, equation. We will get the twenty five percentage. D. Cost price of the skirt is two fifty and selling price is one fifty. Since cost price is greater than the sell price, selling price, so there is a loss. So loss is equals to cost price minus selling price. So 250 minus 150 is equals to 100 rupees. So loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100. That equals to 10 hundred by 250 into 100. That equals to simplifying this, 40 percent is we got. Converting convert each part of the ratio to percentage. So three is to five one, two is to three is to five. C one is to four. D one is to two is to five. Solution in this ratio three is to one. Total number of parts is three plus one. That is equals to four. Percentage of the first part is three by four and second part is one by four. So percentage. We have to find the percentage means multiply with hundred only. So three by four into hundred four hundred twenty five times. So twenty five into three seventy five times. Percentage of the second part is one by four into hundred. That equals to simplify simplifying twenty five percentage we got. B in two is two three is two five. Total number of parts is two plus three plus five. That equals to ten. Percentage of the first part is two by ten, second part is three by ten, the third part is five by ten. So two by ten into hundred equals to ten hundred in hundred 
10 times. So 2 into 10 is equal to 20 percentage. Percentage of the second part 3 by 10 is 30 percentage. Percentage of the third part 5 by 10 is 50 percentage. C. In the ratio total number of parts is equals to 1 plus 1 is to 4. So 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Percentage of the first part is 1 by 5 into 100 that is equal to 20 percentage. Percentage of the second part is 4 by 5 into 100 that is equals to that is equals to 80 percentage. <coughs> D. In ratio 1 is to 2 is to 5 total number of the parts is 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8. So 1 by 8, 2 by 8 and 5 by 8. Percentage of the first part is 1 by 8 into 100 that is equal to 12.5 percentage. Percentage of the second part is 1 by 2 by 8 into 100 that is equals to 25 percentage. Percentage of the third part is 5 by 8 into 100 that is equal to 65 percentage. When you add these percentages, 12 by 5 plus 25 by 25 percentage and 62.5, we got the 100 percentage. And third problem. The population of the city decreased 25,000 to 24,500. Find the percentage of the decrease. Solution. From the given data in the question, decrease in the population city is 25,000 minus 24,500 that is equal to 500. Therefore, change in population is 500. Initial population is 2,500 to 25,000. Percentage decrease is equal to change in population, change in population by initial population into 100. On substituting the values we get 500 by 25,000 into 100. Two zeros, two zeros cancel and one zero, here one zero cancel. 25, uh, 50 by 25 that is equal to 2, 2 percentage. Fourth problem. Arun bought a car for 3,50,000. The next year the price went up to 3,70,000. What is the percentage of the price increase? Solution. Initial price of the car is 3,50,000. Final price of the car is 3,70,000. Increase the price 3,70,000 minus 3,50,000 is equal to 20,000. So percentage of increase is equals to change in quantity by initial quantity into 100. So 20,000 by 350,000 into 100 that equals to these two, two, two zeros two zeros cancel and these two zeros and these two zeros cancel that is equals to 200 by 35 that equals to by simplifying this 5.71 percentage. Fifth problem. I buy a TV for 10,000 rupees and sell it at the profit 25 percent. How much money do I got for it? Solution. According to the question, it is given that the cost of the TV is 10,000. The percentage of profit is given as 25, 20 percent. So profit is equal to 20 by 100 into 10,000. That is equal to these two zeros, these two zeros cancel. That is equal to 20 into 100 is equal to 1000, 2000 rupees. As we know that the selling price of the TV is equal to cost price plus profit. So 10,000 plus 2000 that is equal to 12,000. Here 20 percentage means 20 by 100. Okay. That's why we can got the profit 2000 the selling price is 12000 and we it will get it to get it for 12000 rupees sixth problem juhi sells a washing machine for 13500 she lost 20 percent is in the bargain what is the price uh, which she bought it hmm? selling price given 13500 loss given 20 percent is cost bought it and that means cost price solution find the cost price let us assume that the cost price of the washing machine is 100 rupees and loss of the 20 loss of the loss given 20 percentage of the cost price is 20 rupees 
20 rupees so the selling price will be the cost price minus loss that is equals to 100 minus 20 is equals to 80 rupees using the unitary method if the selling price of the selling price is 80 cost price is the cost price is 100 so thus if we selling price is 13500 the cost price is 100 by 80 into 13500 the cost price is by simplifying this 16875 seventh problem first one chalk contains calcium calcium carbon and oxygen in the ratio of 10 is to 3 is to 12 find the percentage of the carbon in the chalk first one in the stick of chalk carbon is 3 grams what is the weight of the chalk stick so solution according to the given question according to the question the ratio of the calcium carbon and oxygen is 10 is to 3 is to 12 parts of the carbon is 3 sum of the parts is 10 plus 3 plus 12 is equal to 25 percentage of the carbon is parts of the carbon by sum of all parts into 100 that is equal to part is 3 sum of all part is 25 that is equals to 3 by 12 into 100 that is equals to 25 100 4 times that is equal to 12 percentage first one is over second one carbon in the stick chalk is 3 grams so also we know that the carbon percentage in the chalk is 12 percentage this means 12 percentage of carbon is 3 grams so total weight of the chalk is chalk b cube so hence 12 by 12 percentage means 12 by 100 into q is equal to 3 so total weight q is equals to 3 into 100 by 12 that is equals to by simplifying this 25 grams is the 12 percentage okay eighth problem amina buy a book for 275 and sell it is a sell it as a loss of 15 percentage how much does she sell it okay she bought the book is 275 rupees sells loss of 15 percentage what is the selling price okay okay let's calculate the total loss amount to using the loss percentage loss is given by the formula loss plus loss is equals to loss percentage by 100 into cost price selling price is equals to cost price minus loss so cost of the book is 275 loss percentage is loss is equal to 15 percentage of the cost price so total loss is equals to 15 percentage means 15 by 100 into 275 that is equals to by simplifying this 41.25 is the loss so selling price is uh, cost price minus loss that is equal to 275 minus 41.25 that is equals to 233.75 ninth problem find the amount uh, to be paid at the end of uh, three years in each case principal amount is 1200 rupees at 12 percentage per annum interest b principal amount is 7500 at the rate of interest is 4 percent per annum so solution principal amount 12 percentage at uh, 12, uh, 1200 at 12.12% 12, uh, 12 per annum. Simple interest is equal to principal into, principal into rate of interest per annum into time in years by 100. That is equal to 1200 into rate of interest how much 12%? 12 into how many years? 3 by 100. That is equal to 432. I simplifying this. Amount is equals to principal amount plus interest that is equal to 1200 plus 432 that is equal to 632. So the amount to be paid after 3 years will be 1632. Principal rupees 7500 at interest rate is 5 percentage per annum. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate of interest per annum into time in years 
by hundred. Seventy five thousand into five into three by hundred. That is equal to eleven thousand twenty five. Print amount is equal to principal plus interest. So seven thousand five hundred plus interest is eleven hundred twenty five. That is equal to eight thousand six hundred twenty five. So the so the so the amount to be paid after three years will be eight thousand six hundred twenty five. Tenth problem. What is the rate gives? What is the rate gives two eighty five two eighty and as the interest of interest on the sum sum of fifty six thousand rupees in two years. What is the rate gives two eighty two eighty as interest on sum of fifty six thousand in two years? Solution. Let us assume the rate of interest is to be R. Let us use the formula for simple interest. So simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time by hundred. Here simple interest time principal is given two eighty rupees two years and fifty six thousand. On substituting this, the above values we get the above values we get two eighty into 280 into 280 is equals to 56,000 into the rate R is into um, two years by 100. That is equal to R is equal to 280 by 100 into 56,000 into two. That is equal to 0.25 percent. So the rate of interest is equals to 0.25 percent. So last question. If Mena gives an interest of forty five rupees for one year at nine percent rate per annum, what is the sum she was she has borrowed? Interest given, uh, in uh, interest amount given, rate of uh, interest also given nine percent per annum. So the solution. This find out the sum borrowed. This question can be solved by using the formula simple interest. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time by hundred. Let us assume that uh, principal to be P. Simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time by hundred. Simple interest time and rate per annum per annum uh, is given for uh, rupees forty five rupees one year is equal to nine percent is respectively. On substituting the values given in the question, we get 45 is equals to p into 9 into 1 by 100. So p that is equal to principal amount. Principal amount is equal to 45 into 100 by 9 into 5, 1. That is equals to p is equals to 500. So main a borrowed rupees is equal to 500 rupees. Thanks for watching complete video. Thank you and like the video and share the video